What if I told you that you could make your videos instantly more engaging by leveraging other people's designs and modify them on demand using free software with very minimal effort? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can literally just do this. So let's first just talk about where are we going to get our animated subscribe buttons. One of my favorite places to do this is go to Pixabay. So Pixabay is a free website. So they have 1.8 million free images, videos, and whatever I'm looking for, I, I'm usually able to find, you know, at least five to 10 things that I can use in my videos. In this video, we will focus on finding a animated subscribe button for YouTube. And you can also find a bunch of other stuff in here as well. So it gives us a couple options. So let's start with a subscribe button. There we go. So first thing it shows by default is images and we're going to go and change it to videos because we want to find a green screen subscribe button that we can implement into our videos. Some of them are more unique like ninja just jumping around between like, subscribe and share or some cartoony dragon that you know just a funny one flying around and there are also more serious ones that looks more you know, official with the clicks and everything. But in this video, I'm going to show you with something very common, which I also use in my videos as well. So let's go ahead and check this one out. When you're looking for a visual asset to utilize in your videos, uh, one of the main things is for them to be free for commercial use. So when you see free for commercial use, it means you don't need to pay any licensing or any other thing for that. Another thing is you should check when you are looking for a digital asset is no attribution required. Some websites may allow you to utilize their assets, but they might need you to attribute to the owner, to the person who made this. But in this one, especially in this video, you don't really need to do it necessarily so if you want you can obviously make some attribution maybe in the description box or something but it's not a necessity so you can totally get this one free of charge it's free for commercial use and you don't need any direct attribution necessarily so let's first check out what this one is with the bell it has sound and now what i want to do is to free download it download it for free I'll go ahead and pick 180 resolution for this one. This is the resolution I use for my videos as well. Let's go ahead and download it. It automatically opens it up. And if you see it again, it's a 10 second clip. With the bell and subscribe. And then it disappears. Okay, so let's close this one for now. And let's go to iMovie. So I have a clip here, which is a doodle clip, which I also found from Pixabay, by the way. Uh, there are some variations of these on Pixabay. So I want to add to the beginning of this video, the subscribe button that we just got. So I will go to my downloads and grab that and edit here. So one of the first thing is to get the subscribe button to your media asset area. I think that's what you can call it. So then I want to get it and put it to somewhere in the beginnings of this video. Right, right around there. So, but if I do it like this and leave it, watch what's gonna happen. Start the video and everything's interrupted. And that's not really how you use a green screen. So to utilize a green screen in your videos, in iMovie, what you can do is to select that clip and go to the settings area and select blue green screen. And iMovie will automatically convert that, will get rid of that green screen and you know, you'll have your green screen more properly. I will also adjust the sound level on this one, I think it's louder than I want it to be. So let's see it. This is definitely the one way you can use it. It's fast. Uh, if you like the design of everything, you can definitely use it like this. But I want to have my subscribe button um, right around here in the bottom, at the bottom, not just you know covering whole area in the screen. So if I have my if I have my face in here, I don't want it covering my face or 
the whatever I'm telling here. So I will actually go ahead and open Keynote and edit it there to adjust the subscribe button in the size I want, in the shape I want, not in the shape I want, but in wherever I want in the screen. So I'll go ahead and say new document. Let's go to basic white. We'll delete everything in here anyways. So it won't matter at the end. So I'll go and delete this, delete that, and this one. And now I will just get, oops, that's not how you do it. So now I will go and get this subscribe button here. First thing is that I want to make this smaller. Yeah, there we go. So something like this to be fine, some, somewhere in the middle. Uh, let me make it to the middle actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so to make the full green screen, what you need to do is, or what I would do is, you know, just go to background, this one, and say it's color fill. Okay, that's great. Just pick the color picker here and go to this color picker. And now I will go and select the same color of the screen screen and close this. And don't forget where you put your green screen. And now let's play this. So it goes. Let's try again. So if you ignore these small squares, it's perfect fine, but you can't really do that. We don't really want to have these squares here, obviously. So what we are going to do here is to save it. First of all, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say, let's say, subscribe button one and save it to my desktop. So if you play it, no, not play it actually, let's go to file and export this to a movie. So, one important setting is here that this is a self playing. As a setting, it should be self playing, so we don't have to click here for this thing to play and so on. From one to one, we have one thing here, one slide in here. And as a resolution, I want it to be 1080p. And let's say next, I'm going to say export, create a movie. Okay, so let's check it. Yeah, it's here. So this is the original one, I believe. If we just save and... Okay, let me open this one. Yeah, it's at the bottom. So that's what I want from that. So let's go to iMovie now. So let's go to desktop and grab one of them to here as well. To be it. I'm going to bring it here. Let's see. Let's see it first. Okay, good enough. It's working as expected. So, so let me delete this one first because I'm not going to use it. And instead, replace it with this, where I will turn this into a green screen. Yeah, here. Okay. So if you can't find it for some reason, just you know, click on here, like shows video overlay settings. So let's click on that. And instead of cutaway, we want to do which one? Green blue screen. So let's shorten it up because we don't, you know, want to distract us. Doesn't need to be that long. I think let's see how it how it goes. So we do starts. We should have. A Much better. Just small something here, something small here, and goes away. So then I could get the volume down slightly. It's a bit too loud for a video, I think. So let's see it again in the action. Okay, that looks better too. So if you have something major here, which you most likely have, you know, it won't block that. Just gonna show your, you know, subscribe button down here and it'll go away with the bell icon click. So you can just call your audience for action with visual clues. And I think it's really, you know, one of the stables of today's you know, YouTube videos. It's actually hard to find a video that doesn't have a subscribe button animation on it. So, so now you know how to do it and you know how to do it in two ways. So you can go ahead and go to 
Pixabay, which is a free website, and you can find subscribe button videos and animations here. You can also find other stuff as well, like you know, if you say YouTube, you can find other ones. So one thing to look for is that not all of them are free. So the top part is the sponsored videos from iSlack. It's something else. And the bottom part here is, which is most of the section here, is the free part. So for YouTube, we have 52, 52 free videos of YouTube. And some of them are end screen, some of them are, you know, green screen, some of them are, you know, just some relevant videos about YouTube. And, you know, in this one, we used, I believe this one. Yeah, we used this one. So it's one of the common ones. Like, it's one of, no, it's like one of the, Twelve ones, yeah. About YouTube, you can also have like end screen, like these ones. But you know, I think we have more options for subscribe buttons. So you can also go ahead and you know try other ones, see how they look. And as I said, one of the major things is that they should be free for commercial use. You can always check that and confirm that before downloading and using them. And no attribution required is something also you should look out for because some of time in certain websites may ask for you to attribute, maybe in the description box or some on, or someplace else. And you can also get that person copy or follow them or like them or favorite them if you, you know, find more about their content. Just play the video here as well. So if you want something like this, you can totally do exact same things with this video as well. So whichever you feel more comfortable with, whichever you think, you know, fits your video better, you can also have other ones here and there you have it. So that's how you can find free for commercial use virtual assets as, you know, green screen subscribe buttons and call your audience for action by implementing these and utilizing other people's designs in your videos. So, hope you get some value out of this video. Let me know down in the comments what are you, which ones are you going to use? Is there any other free website that you use or paid ones? And hopefully your comments will help someone. If you think I missed something important, let me know down in the comments and maybe I will make a video about them as well. So hopefully you got some value out of this video and I will see you next time.